A treat tonight for stargazers. Many people were able to get a glimpse of the comet known as T Atlas for short. A viewer sent us this photo over it, uh, of it over Staten Island, and another viewer viewer sent us this photo. Stargazers in Central Park were not able to see the comet tonight, but there is still hope they could see it over the next two weeks. Some people told us they'll give it a bit more time before trying to see it again. One isn't very bright, and it is basically aligned with the sun and Venus when they're setting. So the brightness of the sun makes it really harder to see it, and by the time it has gotten dark enough that you could see it, it's already below the horizon. Next week, the, the comet will still be up, and it'll be dark. Okay, so when it's close to the sun, it's hard to see. This particular comet is such a rare occurrence. NASA estimates it will be another 80,000 years before people can see it again. Meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch is here now with your first alert forecast. And Vanessa, we will have another chance to see the comet. I know this is top of your headline news <laughs> Yes. Tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's just exciting stuff, yeah. right? Such a rare event. And through the end of the month, the comet will be visible, but it will become less visible to the naked eye over the next couple of weeks as the comet becomes a little bit less bright each day and also rises a little higher in the atmosphere. Certainly, though, it is a sight to behold if you get the chance. Tonight's viewing conditions were perfect. That will not be the case tomorrow night. We'll have much more in the way of cloud cover getting in the way of our view.